Hey, g'day and welcome back to Atlas. Uh, I've basically been doing a little bit of playing around with the railings and apparently there's a few gun ports and other modules that are um, hanging around in the system in the skill tree that you can actually build uh, and from what I can tell they don't actually affect the points on the ship. They seem to be basically for replacing uh, ones that already exist. So in here in the expert shipwright you basically have all the different railings, kraken and common types, as well as at the top there you can see a general rowing module, tile module, gun port module, I'm not sure what tile modules in there twice because there's actually two different types of gun modules, there's not two different types of tile modules. Um, yeah, a little bit weird. But when we actually have a look in the inventory uh, we can see here there's a general gun port and there's also a single gun port. Uh, as with the rowing module and the tile module. Uh, at this stage I've not been able to work out how to place the tile module. Uh, here we see the uh, oh, what's this one? This is the ramming ship. So with the ramming ship you can only place the common stuff and on the kraken ship you can only place the kraken types. Currently this has uh, the standard railing which costs no points but with the ramming ship it starts at 23 the 43 so you actually end up having quite a big pool of points to work with so we can place down a few of these items and have a look at what they actually look like we can add dinghy hanger oh, let me out of there gets a bit busy when you place all these things down diving platform uh, what else we got baluster I'm not putting the double cannon down uh, because you know it's just a double cannon people can actually see that up for themselves that's not what I wanted. Where's the common version of that one? Common cannon. There we go. Uh, one of the ones I've missed out on here is actually the torpedo launcher, I think it is. Yes, common core torpedo. So that's a single cannon there. Uh, apparently I've grabbed the Kraken type. Let's grab the common type. Place that down, you end up having a torpedo launcher on your deck as well. And so all of these, the only thing that's actually of difference is the railing itself. So we've actually got a common railing piece here. Uh, and we'll go over to the track and ship and show why it's only the railing that's actually changing. So over here we have the track and ship with its Kraken style railing. Uh, and when we put down a cargo rack, you can see here that the cargo rack and all the other bits and pieces is identical. The only thing that's different is the Kraken rail itself. There's no other difference to the what you're actually placing down. Uh, Ballastar. Now, the problem with this particular one Right, so to be able to put a baluster on the railing, you need three points. But the ship itself, if we put that back down as a standard railing, get the points back that we just spent. Right, it need you start off with forty of forty-two, and you can't actually impact that number because the modules below deck don't actually do anything at this stage right so we've got the double cannons here uh, and if I find the single gun port it says here that it's replacing three of three all right so uh, it's not going to actually make any difference but I'll actually place that and we'll actually see how that really does affect things uh, so we find our double here the double reckon that it's only going to cost one and it's going to replace three but the thing is it's still 40 to 42 place that right. and then we're going to get put down the rowing port we have a look here and it says it requires one of three again same thing that it's saying uh, and really it should be refunding two points but it's still 40 of 42 I put the rowing module down and it's actually going to have done no different I've been playing around with this for a while so you get no refund of points when you're playing around with the modules on the Kraken ship and so as a result because you only have 40 out of 42 you can't place any of the weapon railings down on the Kraken ship at this point in time because we need to be able to refund the module points from down below before we can actually play around with the items up top uh, and if you want to be able to place some things you basically can place two of the utility items on deck because they cost one point each uh, otherwise you'll need to carry around a handful of just the, the railing pieces as well as your modules and then you can swap them in and out albeit you need to be in a shipyard to be able to swap the railings so that's something also to keep in mind um, 
Yeah, as far as things go, the railings over there on the mortar ship are actually the common variant. So you can actually replace them with the, the railing on there, but you can only use the common one. And I haven't actually tried, but it's possible that this one is the one that will allow us to use the tile. No, it won't. I haven't found what uses the standard tile yet. I've been trying to work that one out, but I haven't been able to find it. Uh, and lastly, before I uh, sign off, I'll show you what I did to the turtle ship. And so basically I took the gun ports and the rowing banks because you can actually change out the armoured, so here at the back you can see the uh, rear gun ports have actually got an armour as well as a single gun port. I replaced the top row, so it was basically single cannon top and bottom. I replaced the top row with double cannons and then the bottom row with oars so that basically this ship now has the ability to uh, have a burst of speed and maintains the same amount of firepower because it's got the same amount of guns. Uh, you can't replace the railings across the top. Uh, I would have liked to have seen what it looked like underneath, but you can't replace them because we obviously need to get the armored turtle ship railing variant before we can actually do anything. And even then we're just gonna be replacing railings for the same railings. Uh, it'll be once they actually enable the ability to put the different types of railings onto the other ships so that we can customize the look and the feel. But at this point in time, there's no customizations in that way. But I was able to make this um, rather silly looking design. Uh, this was all based on, I was going to try and get this closer to the original Korean warship, which actually had oars. Uh, along the bottom row and then obviously the cannons on the second tier and so yeah this was my attempt to recreate that and it does work I mean for while you have the oars out it gives you a good burst of speed so that you can actually get somewhere quick but you know it's only as good as the uh, functionality of the oars is because once you've, your speed's done that's it you gotta wait a while for it to recharge before you can use it again possibly something useful that if this thing was armored and you wanted to basically um, Maybe this has got your land troops in it that you're trying to actually get to the beach fast or you need a quick getaway uh, because the turning speed on this is terrible. Uh, the oars may actually uh, offer that benefit even though they're not armoured like the rest of it. Anyway, let me know what you think uh, down in the comments because that really brings us to the end. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to them doing more with the modular stuff. At this point in time, the, the customizations is just far too minimal in terms of being able to create a unique look because the ships themselves basically provide that unique look and we can't change them yet. Because I, yeah, this front castle here, for example, I would love to be able to take this front castle and put it on a different ship. I'd like to be able to take this ram and put it on a different ship. I want all of these various different things to be able to be changed. And I'm trying to remember, I think it was the ramming ship's rear castle. I want to be able to put that here on the mortar ship and get rid of that boxy rear castle and give it a bit more of a flowing rear castle and see what uh, happens with that. But who knows what they're gonna offer us in the future. All right, once again, thanks for listening in and uh, yeah, catch you in the next one.